Let's start at Genesis chapter 4. Okay, this is, this is the excommunication, if you want to know where this is at in Scripture, and where, you know, how, how is this part of the nation, that this is not something that's made up or that we take it from some, some, some other organization. This, this is always among our people, and it was taken from us and being used by Catholic churches and different things of that nature. Genesis chapter 4, verse 7. Um, look at what the Lord told Cain. Read. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. Okay, so that's the words that Moses was using. Do not accept their offering, meaning put them out. That's what that means. If you did what was right, you wouldn't have been put out. You would have been accepted. You would have been able to come before in the presence of the Lord and sacrifice and present your offerings and different things of that nature if you continue doing what's right. When you do what's wrong, when you're being evil, it's time to go. You got to get out. Read on. And if thou doest not well. If thou what? Doest not well. Read on. Sin. What is that word? Sin. What is that word? Sin. Come on. Lieth at the door. Read on. And unto thee shall his desire. And mm. unto thee shall be his desire. Read on. And thou shalt rule over him. If thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Okay, so sin is at the door. When, you, when you're going off, you know, you, you, sin is right there. You get the book of James chapter 1. Let's go to James 1. That's why you got you to gotta stop yourself from going off. You're going off, you got to stop. You got to come and confess. You got to say, yeah, I lied when I reported my status. <laughs> you can't allow yourself to keep going off, okay, because you're on your way out. Okay? You feel you ain't getting caught. Nobody know of me. Nobody see of me. You ain't, again, here we got, we got a fool that's not recognizing God. This is God's nation. You ain't going to just get away with going off in God's nation. Do everybody understand that? Good. Okay? So when you see somebody put out there, and some of you, your friend got put out, that ain't fake, that ain't fake. Okay, you next. <laughs> okay, you got put out, yeah, who's next? Okay, that's, that's all that is. Satan, like, who next, who next? I'm, I'm standing at the door, who next? See, he got put out, you got an attitude about that? You next, you next, who next? Who next? <laughs> Satan want to see you put out, okay? Because once you put out, now he don't need you no more. Okay, I done used you for everything I need to use you for now. I got these lieutenants over here, okay? They about to run up on you, okay? And damn, take your soul. How about that one? Who next? That people put out, your husband get put out. You sitting up there with the demons in you. That ain't right. That ain't right. Okay, no, you ain't right. Your wife get put out. That ain't right. That ain't right. Your aunt, your auntie, your uncle, you got put out. That ain't right. Your papa got put out. Who, I don't care who, whoever got put out. That ain't right. That ain't right. Who, ne who next? Who next? Who's next? This is an old order. It's divine. This has been in existence since the very beginning. You think the Lord going to eliminate this? You out of your mind. You think that this is going to be un ineffective? You out of your mind. It's going to get his results. God is not mocked. For whatsoever is sown shall be reaped by that person. Read on. James chapter 1 verse 15. Read. Then, then when lust have conceived, read on. it bringeth forth sin. Okay, when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin. So that's that sin that's live at the door. So what's the purpose of being put out? Once that sin take over, then what's next? Death. Death. That's the purpose of being put out. It bringeth forth sin. Read on. And sin, when it is finished, come on, bringeth forth death. So sit up there and keep thinking you're getting away. You're among, you're among the nation, not keeping no laws, not coming to the Sabbath, not taking nothing serious. Is it a light thing unto you for the Lord to, to, to give, give you the orders and the laws that he gave you for you to serve? Is that a light thing to you that you want to sit up there and lie and be doing all kind of other things and not taking this stuff seriously? Well, guess what? Sin is at the door. As all, all of this is time. The Lord said he's long-suffering because it's not his will that any should perish. So he's giving people time to, to figure, it, figure this out. Like, listen, let me stop being stupid. But the people that don't figure it out, this is where it comes from. This is Moses was very angry. He told the Lord, get rid of these. Get, get them. Get them. Get them out of here. I, we, don't, we don't let them be part of this nation, corrupting this nation. Put this evil out of this nation. We must keep evil out of this nation. Do everybody understand that? Okay, um, um, let's go back. What was we at before that? Genesis four. Yes, sir. Um, is it more on that in James chapter uh, five, uh, one verse fifteen? No, sir. Um, when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. Yes, sir. And then what it says after that? Verse sixteen. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Yeah, yeah. Do not, do not err. Okay, do not go off. Because unto thee shall be his desires, what the scriptures read in Genesis 4. 
Uh, unto, unto thee, unto you, shall be Satan's desire. You will become an agent of the devil. You will become, you will, you will become um, a person that is living to do Satan's will. Do everybody understand that? Okay. Satan's will will be exercised through you. Let's get the book of 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3. That's why an evil person gets worse. They only get worse. Satan done took over and you don't even see it. You're just getting worse and worse and worse. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. Read it. He that committeth sin is of the devil. Okay, now you are doing Satan's will. Read on. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. Everybody understand that? That's why scripture says, and thou, now it's talking to Satan, and thou shall rule over him. Satan is going to rule over you. Let's get the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 16. Romans chapter 6 verse 6. So it ain't nobody that's put out, okay, that ain't, don't belong out there. Don't be even them letting them deceive you. Was you put out too? They're going to run to you in the streets. Was you put out too? You might, oh, you out? You was put out? Bye. <laughs> They got the demons in. Yeah. Romans 6, 16. Read. Know ye not. Come on. That to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants you are to whom ye obey. Read on. Whether of sin unto death. Okay, you become the servants of sin, which is the servants of Satan. Let's get the book of St. John chapter 8. Okay, this is all of the people that's excommunicated, all of the people that's put out, whether they suspend it for a period of time, is because of evil that had to be put away from Israel. And this is the understanding on it to let you know that this is the, a divine order from the very beginning. An order not to be spoken against. An order to be followed. A divine sentence from the throne of the almighty God. Everybody understand that? Sure. All right, so again, St. John chapter 8, verse 34. Read. Jesus answered them, verily, verily, I say unto you. Read on. Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. Okay, let's go back to Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. And let's read the 7 verse one more time. Genesis chapter 4 verse 7. Read that. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? Come on. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Read on. And unto thee shall be his desire. Read on. And thou shalt rule over him. Come on. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. Okay, so now I want to jump just to get to the point. And let's read verse 13. Genesis chapter 4 verse 13. Cain continued in his evil. And um, he got dealt with. So now when he heard the judgment, this is what uh, he said. Genesis chapter 4 verse 13. Read. And Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Yeah, I can't deal with this. Read on. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth. Okay, so that's what this is. This is being put out. Do everybody understand that? Read on. And from thy face shall I be hid. No longer being in the presence of God. Do everybody understand that? Read on. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. Read on. And it shall come to pass. Just jump to verse 16 so we can get to the point. Give me verse 16, please. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. What is being put out? Read it one more time. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. What is being excommunicated? Read it one more time. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. Okay, so this is what Moses was asking for when he was talking about Dathan and Korah and them. He was saying, accept not their sacrifice. Put them out from your presence. Do not allow them to be among this congregation. Read it one more time. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. Okay, so this is a divine sentence, a divine order coming straight from the throne of God. Let's get 2 Ezra chapter 15. 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. Read. Woe to them that sin. Read it again. Woe to them that sin. Destruction to them that sin. Read it one more time. Woe to them that sin. Death and destruction to them that sin. Read it again. Woe to them that sin. Read on. And keep not my commandments. Say if the Lord read on, I will not spare them. I will do what? I will not spare them. Read on. Go your way. Read it one more time. Go your way. Read it again. Go your way. Again, being put out. Okay, get out. Go your way. Read on. Ye children. Read on. From the power. Yeah, from the presence of the Lord. Read on. Defile not my sanctuary. Everybody see that? 
Read on. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. Read on. And therefore. And what? And therefore. Read on. Delivereth he them. What does he do? Delivereth he them. What does he do? Delivereth he them. Read on. Unto death. Come on. And destruction. People don't understand that this is a divine sentence. This is God that's saying this is what I'm giving you to. This is why you got to get out. I'm delivering you to death and destruction. Where else is this written? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 5. This is not nothing to be trifled with. You don't play with this. This is not the judgment of man. This is the judgment of the divine. And it will be executed. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12. Read. For what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Yeah, the ones that are without, the ones that was put out. Read on. Do not ye judge them that are within. This is the purpose of the council. The people that are still within the nation, then the Lord allows the council to impose penalties and judgments for breaking God's law. Do everybody understand that? Sure. But once you are put out, Read on. But them that are without. Read on. God judges. Do what? God judges. Read on. Therefore. Come on. Put away from among yourselves. Read on. That wicked person. What's the purpose of that? Let's go up a bit. Let's go back to the fourth verse. Verse four. Let's go to verse four. Read. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read on. When you are gathered together in my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read on. To deliver such an one unto Satan. To deliver what? Such an one unto Satan. So the scriptures tell us in another place, God delivered them to death and destruction by giving them to who? The devil that's seeking to destroy. And where is he at? He's out there in that world. That's why that's the penalty. That's the judgment. Deliver such a one to Satan. Read on. For the destruction of the flesh. Read on. That the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord that, Jesus. That maybe if they are stopped from their wickedness, that when the day of Christ come, his kingdom come, they could be resurrected and allowed into his kingdom. Maybe. Depending on the level of wickedness. But it's definitely to death and destruction. It's definitely for that. It's definitely to condemnation. Once you out, that's the judgment. That's, the, that's it. This is the word of God that cannot lie. Do everybody understand that? Right. Read on. Verse 6. Come on. Your glorying is not good. Yeah, you had, the, you had the congregation thinking that they were doing a good thing by allowing wicked people to stay and because they were feeling like they were being merciful that day. This was the grace of God. Now, 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 Paul said, listen, put them out, okay? Don't be glorying that you merciful. Put them out. Their wickedness uh, requires them to be put out. Read on. No, ye not. That a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. No, you're not what? That a little, little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. That a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Read on. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Do what? Purge out therefore the old leaven. Read on. That ye may be a new lump as ye are unleavened. Okay, do everybody understand that? So we must keep evil out of the nation. This is an old divine order, and this is what Moses is invoking as the leader of the nation of Israel. He's, he went to the, the Lord. Uh, for, for these men that did not uh, answer the summons um, to be put out of the nation of Israel. Let's go back to Numbers chapter 16. And let's read the 15 verse one more time. Numbers chapter 16 verse 15. Read it again. And Moses was very wroth. And said unto the Lord, Come on. Respect not thou their offering. Come on. I have not taken one ass from them. Yeah, put them out. Let them no longer be accepted, um, is what he's saying. Read on. Neither have I hurt one of them. Meaning everything that they're doing is without a cause. Nothing wrong was ever done to them. Do you everybody understand that? Okay, so again, here we got the word of God reapplying. You see this in other parts of the Bible. You see it being spoken up, uh, by David in the Psalms that they hated me without a cause. Um, same thing uh, uh, was spoken by Jesus Christ. Again, the words reapplying, uh, situations reapplying, uh, and fulfilled in Jesus Christ that they hated him without a cause. Let's go to the book of uh, St. John chapter 15. 